Hey Virgos, happy birthday. Happy birthday season, you guys. We are in Virgo season. It is underway. And so happy birthday. I hope you guys are living it up and you get your readings out first. So I know you like that already. <laughs> Virgo. Okay. <laughs> Seven of swords. Okay. Two shout out. Three of swords. Okay, so spirit is like, let's get with it, okay? Excuse my voice. I record these videos early, early in the morning. If you're used to my channel, you already know that. So welcome back, you guys. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay, so someone is possibly dealing with some secret heartbreak here. Someone is, I feel like, hurting, hurting in secret, okay? Someone is hurting here. Yeah, in secret. It could be a Pisces, High Priestess. <clears throat> Remember, that's in secret. That has to do with secrecy. Someone's hurting in secret. What is going on? As I always say, vice versa. The stories could be flipped or reversed. This could be you or your person's energy I'm picking up. Okay? Put the characters where they go. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, High Priestess. What is this for Virgo? Could be a Taurus. The hard font is here. Nine of Cups. Okay. And Eight of Wands. Someone wants to come out of this place of being heartbroken. Someone is in secret heartbreak here. Someone is also conflicted here with the energy of the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to come out of this. Nine of Cups, their desire is to talk. Eight of Wands, they possibly want to see you, want to be around you. But what is all this secrecy? What is that? Magician could be a Gemini. A lot of major arcanas are coming out. Someone is manifesting. Look, the Knight of Wands. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And the Knight of Cups. Again, someone is manifesting, talking to you, offering you something, possibly wanting to meet up, to date. What are these knights coming out? What is this for Virgo? You, yeah, someone is manifesting you, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Ace of Swords, making a big communication with you, trying to manifest a big communication with you. What do they want to say to Virgo at this time? Seven of Cups. All I, I hear the song, like, I don't know if this is a song, but this just, <laughs> I'm like, let me slow down. It's like, um, oh, it is a song. Okay. All I do is think of you. Um, gosh, what was that group? It was like a, a boy group. I think it was called B5 or something like that. Some of y'all don't remember that group. They were only out for a short time, but I think it was called B5. All I do is think of you day and night. That's all I do. And that's what I just got with this Seven of Cups. Look at that. King of Pentacles. Someone fantasizing about the two of you being together. Knight of Swords. Now this is the third night. They want to get it going. How is Virgo feeling about this person, the situation? How is Virgo feeling? Ace of Cups. Whoa. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, okay. And the Five of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. Page of Wands. Okay, so that's how you're feeling. Let me get to you in just a second. Let me go back to this person. Okay, so I could read this as your energy at the top. Where, yes, you came out of heartbreak. You came out of something that was deceptive. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. Something that was disappointing. You listen to your intuition with the energy of the high priestess. <laughs> Y'all help me out. We in retrograde right now with Mercury. With the high priestess, you listen to your intuition and you moved on. A lot of you have moved on to someone new. Some of you are getting to know different people. Okay. You may have options now, but I'm seeing the energy of one person coming through here and manifesting, talking to you, being with you. You could be dating and going out with this person a lot. Seeing this person. Mm-hmm. 
and starting something with this person. This person is hoping to be with you in a relationship with the king and queen of pentacles, okay? This could be a brand new start for a lot of you with this person. So what I feel is a lot of fantasy surrounding this situation. So it... <sighs> It doesn't have to be an ex, okay? But this is definitely someone that you already know. This is someone that you already know and someone that you're getting to know or someone that you're developing something. It could be brand new, okay? With the energy of the Ace of Cups. It could be brand new. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This is a brand new start for you, Virgo. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's like a brand new relationship coming in for you. Who is this person? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Lovers. Wow. Gemini energy coming through. Some of you starting something brand new with the Gemini. Mm. This feels passionate. It feels like falling in love for the first time. Ten of Pentacles. This person is thinking long term. Two of Pentacles, wondering if this is what you want as well. Nine of Wands, okay. And Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to be with you. Whew. They want to be with you. Now, I can flip it on them. They could have come out of a lot of heartbreak. Because I was like, I could read it as your energy, but let's just stick to them. With that energy that was at the beginning, this person has come through a lot and then they find you and it's like everything changes when they find you and they just want to be together. I'm feeling long distance. For some of you, this is a person who may live in a different city, state, even country, okay? Yeah, what will come of this situation this week? Three of Cups, okay? Ten of Swords, okay? And we have the Four of Pentacles. Someone may be putting an end to a third party. And when I say third party, not cheating and all of that. It's just like this person may be putting an end to distance. They may want to move toward you. Remember, a third party can be anything. Okay, coming in between two people. So they may put an end to distance. They may put an end to, you know, um, uh, what am I trying to say? A divorce, finalizing a divorce, finalizing and tying up loose ends with another person. This person is holding on to you. Sorry, that was a motorcycle. Kaboom. The tower is here with the six of wands. Yeah, I keep feeling like this person is coming out of something big. What is that tower? Can you show us what the tower is? What is the big thing that this person is coming out of? Judgment. They could be coming out of jail. <laughs> For some of you, this person could be coming out of jail. Nine of Swords. It was something stressful that this person was going through. Page of Cups. They could have went through something that caused them to be emotionally withdrawn as well. Two of Wands. And they're having a new path in front of them with you. Yeah, they came out of something overwhelming. Ten of Wands. So that definitely is their energy at the top. Like I said, put the characters where they go. You or your person. Y'all both could have came through something devastating and found each other, found love with each other, okay? I could be picking up both of y'all's energies together. Anything else that this person would want to say to Virgo at this time? Death card. Yeah, going through some major transformation. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, and now they're coming in with a more solid offer. That's the fourth knight. All the knights are out. Six of Pentacles. Now they can give to you. They may be saving up money right now as well. They may have a bit of like financial issues. Maybe trying to rebuild their finances. Okay. Coming out of something that was devastating. Yeah. Seven of Wands. Whoa. We pulled two. Sun and the Strength card. Whoa. Seven of Wands with the Sun and the Strength. Some of you blocking a Leo. Whew, Leo's energy coming through. If this has nothing to do with a Leo, for some of you, I feel like 
This person is standing their ground, fighting for their happiness with you. This person, what, what they came out of, they had to be very strong. They had to be brave to release the past in order to come toward you, Virgo. And I feel like you've had to do the same thing. Some of you have went through a lot. And that's been your energy for months. You've been going through a big shift. You've come through a lot. You've changed a lot. And I feel like spirit is blessing you with someone who has gone through a similar situation and joining the two of you together. Wow. Any other insight or advice? What can you give us? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Virgos. What do they need to hear or know? What do they need to hear or know? Moving. Look at that. Yeah. That's what I was mentioning. It's a change of residence, moving in with your partner. Some of you are about to move in with this person. Yeah. There's going to be a big shift. Transition. Get ready for it, Virgo. Sexuality. It says someone is still figuring themselves out. Yeah. Now, this could mean that someone is still figuring out, you know, the energy between the two of you. Is this really going to work? Should I invest in this? Should I? I saw that energy a little bit here with the lovers and the two of pentacles. Someone trying to make a decision here. Still trying to figure things out. You could still be trying to figure out things with this person. Is this serious or is this just sex? You could be trying to figure that out right now. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What does Virgo need to hear or know? Cycles. Yeah, going through a major transition. I keep getting that. Closing out cycles to begin a new one. It says fate, karma, uh, something getting and something beginning. Okay. That's what the card says, something getting, okay? <laughs> and something beginning. That's what I feel. I feel like something ending so something new can begin. That's what I feel very strongly. And one more for Virgo. One more. The answer is yes. For those of you who needed an answer, the answer is yes. It says, luck is on your side. Yeah, we have narcissists at the bottom of the deck. Some of you were dealing with someone or something that was not good for you. It says someone is too full of themselves. Yeah, you could have been dealing with that energy. Cross watcher dealing with the Virgo. You could have been dealing with that type of energy and then you found Virgo. I feel either way, spirit is allowing you to start over with someone brand new here. Any other advice or insight? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Advi okay. Advice or insight? Yeah, we have death. That card just came out. Where was it? Yeah, the death card. Someone going through a major ending, transition. This could have involved a death. Some of you could have lost a loved one. Yeah, you gone, you've gone through something. Mm-hmm. Death of a relationship, death of a person, having to release something, let go, endings. Endings bring new beginnings. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, anything else Virgo would need to hear or know? Vow, yeah. Making a vow to each other, committing to each other, someone getting uh, your wish, okay? It says wish, hope, worship. I'm feeling that word wish. Some of you getting your wish. Making vows, getting married for some of you the first time, for some of you again, okay? One more card for Virgo. Loss. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. A lot of you have lost a lot. Some of you may have even lost a pet. I see this person holding a dog. It could be any animal. You may have lost a pet. It says bereavement, sorrow, damage. Have gone through a lot, Virgo. Yeah, a lot of you have gone through a lot. You may still be grieving over the death of someone, losing a partner. Some of you have lost a spouse. A spouse may have passed away. A boyfriend, girlfriend may have passed away. A fiance. I feel like pulling one more. Look at that. And everything's going to be okay. I just got chills. Spirit has your back, Virgo. It says stability, harmony, acceptance. I feel like because of all that you went through... It's like spirit is allowing you to experience happiness now. Allow yourself to experience that happiness. Someone could be 65 watching this. I'm getting the number 65 here. I'm being drawn to that number. All the cards have numbers, but I'm getting drawn to that 65 there. Someone could be 65 watching this. Someone could have been born in 1965. Okay. 
The number 65 is here, okay? Mm. Let me go to this deck. Advice or insight? One card, please, for Virgos that they need to hear or know. Advice or insight for this week? Passion. Look at that. It says, do what excites you, Virgo. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. And I just feel like working out, like you may want to start working out outdoors. Like maybe you don't need to be at the gym. Some of you need to go and experience nature. You're an, you're an earth sign. So some of you need to get outdoors. Go breathe in fresh air. Go take a walk. You know, go jog outside. Do some outdoor activity. Go swimming. Something like that. Something outdoors is what I'm feeling very strongly. When it says increase your energy levels, something to jog you. Because I feel like spirit is shaking your life up for a reason. Things have been shaken up for you for a reason. And spirit is like reigniting your passion for your life and for your love life. Okay. Mm. Alrighty, Virgos, that is your energy. Again, happy birthday. Happy birthday season. You guys, I hope you are enjoying your season. Spend some time with somebody, family, friends, a lover, even a coworker. Spend time with somebody to celebrate your birthday this season. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. Take a shot for me. Bye.